Hello and welcome to the uh, next installment of our video. I am Kamikaze Worm and this is Mr. Proton. Today we're going to be doing a just a short video on the uh, Vision Spinner, which is that. Uh, go on, Minge. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what we're going to say today. No, we're just kind of winging it. It's our first kind of full battery review, if you like. It's not something that we've. And we're going back to the first before. video where we just. Don't know what yeah, we're just winging it today. You might notice we're in glorious 720p HD quality for you, so you can see our gorgeousness. Yes, um, we did. Well, he bought a webcam, which I will be going harsh on him when I get paid, which will be tomorrow, <laughs> because I have a lovely tax rebate of uh, £1,200. Thank you very much. Hello, and welcome to Kamikaze Worm <laughs> Proton's life update. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but there is a thing coming, which you will be getting a ha 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 a few, in a few days. A few things coming, actually. But a massive ha ha. This will be like the so much god that he loses of his all things. It yeah, no, stay tuned over the next few days. We've got a nice few new devices, including some that are incredibly new to the market that you won't have uh, probably won't have seen before. So, do watch out for them. But anyway, back on the spinner. Let's say it's the first review we are going to do of a battery, if you like. Um, this is a fairly a fairly good one, I'd say. It's a variable voltage um, the, the device, basically just a twist at the bottom. I think there's a bit, a bit of or it's a spin at the bottom because yeah. it's a spinner. It's a spinner, it's not a twist, sorry. It's a spin of the device. Um, it's basically a rip off of the Joytech uh, Ego Twist. Um, the Ego Twist is 1000 mAh, this is 1300 mAh. Um, so it's all in all pretty good. It's it's one whole pound less, or two whole dollars, or one and a half dollars, what it is, um, less than the Ego Twist. Um, and obviously, you get an additional 300 mAh. He's got two. Um, um, just so you updated, this one is broke, but we'll get into this one further on in the video. Yeah, we're basically we're using it as demonstration purposes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a good little device. You've got on the bottom now, I don't know if you can see your numbers around here in 0.3 increments. I think it starts at. Uh, uh, it's not focusing, but that one is 3.3. Going that way. Is bring it back slightly, my focus. Oh, fuck us. Oh, I threw me on one on the floor. How not to treat your vaping gear. I don't know what you're talking about. Direct from the UK. Right, uh, let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go, getting a nice picture of my hand. That is 3.3, .3, as you can just tell. That is 3.8. That is 4.3, and that one is 4.8. Obviously, they are different increments as you go around. Even though the line doesn't really tell you, you can kind of guesstimate roughly what it is. I mean, yeah, I mean that's. I think that's my first disadvantage of this against the uh, twist is the twist is in 0.2 increments, whereas this is in well. 0.5, so half a volt increments each way around. I mean, it's not like you can't find a butter zone in between them. It's not like you have to have 4.3 or 4.8, but um, the twist is 0.2s. The advantage with this over the twist is that you can't see bug raw on the twist in the dark because it's kind of etched and it's not actually um, sort of uh, written or printed on to the body like it is on here. So, <coughs> good amazing. and bad. It was good and bad with both devices. The twist uh, is about that long, though. So it's substantially longer. I know it doesn't seem like all that, but that's <coughs> half an inch, three quarters of an inch bigger. <laughs> and I've got big hands, and this just about pokes at the bottom, nice vaping position. With a twist, even with my hands, it was here. So if you were someone who had the smaller hands, or if you were female particularly, um, it would probably look like that in your whole hand, to be honest with you. The twist is big. Um, the build quality on the twist is slightly better, though, I think. It just feels slightly more expensive. The buttons better. The twist in the bottom is a little bit stiffer, which I do like. I yeah, mean, it feels a bit more resistance, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's just all round better. It's slightly, you, you get what you pay for, and you're, you're only paying a pound, but then you're losing 300 miles, so it kind of it works out to be a bit more what than do that. You want? Um, on this one, you can put, yeah, you can see it there nice and clearly. Um, the paint's worn off of this. That was me having this and a twist in an ego case together. Um, and they were rubbing up against each other and the paint has come off of this whereas it didn't come off of the twist so obviously the paint quality on this isn't quite as good as it is on the twist and things and things but all the t proper Joytech Ego batteries um, all the black ones we've had with the rubberized kind of paint seal none of it's worn off whereas this it has these were from vaporscape.co.uk uh, nice prompt delivery well ish we no, they're very good the, they come on vaporscape show. are incredibly good we've said before go and check them out um, Vapescape are good, and for the price, twenty four ninety nine. And again, you can get your um, e cig reviews discount code. So it's ECR sixty nine. That works on a hell of a lot of sites actually. I think it's is it Scott Scott Bonner Scott. His his um, 
ECIG reviews website basically your ECR is your ECIG reviews and 69 is, is, is YouTube tag which is I get your 69 so try if, if you're on a website just try ECR 69 you might get lucky he may, he may have had a discount code set up with him um, you can go to his uh, forum page which is ECIG reviews uh, dot co I think it is it might be dot com um, and he's got a list on there of discount codes and vendors that he's used and trusts so uh, that's another Good place to check out is ECIG reviews. The one thing I didn't like about these, uh, the variable voltage devices, is uh, on the pass-throughs and the just the normal standard uh, 3.7 volts. Uh, when you get to 50%, this light goes from white to sky blue, and then when you get to low, below 10%, you get a dark blue, which obviously you know where your charge is in, and you know when you need to charge it. With this thing, it will just die. You but could be out and you think it's fully charged and dead. That is the same with the twist, so that's yes. not just a spinner thing. That's it's a twist variable thing well. voltage thing, which we, we would be nice if they brought it over to the variable voltage as well. But I wouldn't you know. imagine it cost that much, to be honest with you, for them to implement that onto here. And it is, it sounds like a like me 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 bitchy little thing. It is a real lifesaver when you know what you've got, what you're playing with, um, because especially if you're going from I don't know a 2.8 Nova onto a 1.5 dual coil dual coil Carto, you're running them sort of not massive amounts of different voltage, but on the 0.5 Carto, 1.5 Carto, you're going to be using that battery twice as quick. Um, so it is handy to know. And obviously, if you're out and about and you see the dreaded dark blue below 10% indication, you kind of use it sparingly. If you're me, or you have home. no ID, or go home, or, or get another one out if you've got another one with you. If you're me, you have no ID, you keep going, you're out and about, and you're like, oh no, and your life's <laughs> over. Um, luckily, I always carry two batteries, so it wasn't too much of an issue. But if you didn't, I'm you could be tempted to buy the fags if you had to then wait, get in and wait four hours for it to charge. Depends on how dependent you are on this for your nicotine and how badly you crave it. And how long you can go without a cigarette vape. I mean, after an hour, you'd have enough charge to have a vape, wouldn't you? But yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good, I think, it's a good start in battery. I mean, we started on pass-throughs. I myself started on a 650-mile pass-through. Lovely and dinky. It's about the size of a V3. Um, you started on a 1,000-mile pass-through. Pass -through. The pass-throughs are still my recommendation for someone who's new to this or someone who isn't going to be looking into this heavily, just wants this, wants that, and wants it to work. Because they are an all-round device. You just plug them in. You can charge it whilst you're vaping. It's a standard fixed 3.7 volts. So there's little to go wrong with it. As long as you can buy that for 1.8, pushing 2, 4, or 2, Ohm atomizer or cartomizer, then you're pretty much good to go. Screw it on, push the button, and you're you're loving it. Um, so the pass is still on my newbie recommendation. But if you know someone who's kind of watched you with it, or you've had it, and they're kind of intrigued, and you've told them all about it, and they're definitely on it, um, and they want to jump straight in, sort of a bit bit more of an advanced level, then that's definitely for twenty four ninety nine, twenty three ninety nine, sorry, plus five quid for your charger and. I mean that's 29 quid, 11 quid for your Nova, 40 quid you're all set apart from juice and you're good to go. 10 a bottle of juice should do you at least a couple of weeks, especially if you're new to this, get some 36 milligram strength or something, blow your head off and you won't want a fag, trust me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's definitely definitely a nice little sort of device. Right, back to um, this one, I mean, we, it is broke but the light does still come on. So we're, we're assuming that the connection from that actually goes up to the battery to the light and then to the actual pin at the bottom to actually supply a positive um, charge, we assume the wire that is underneath there has come off the soldering, which we did have a look around and it was very hard to find because there was very little on these breaking. So it's a very rare, rare occurrence. I think this one is just one that I did drop a few times, so it may have like increased <laughs> the breaking of this one, but um, it's a very, very rare occurrence. I mean, obviously they're not as well made as the uh, Joytech version, but they are still very, very well made. I mean, as long as like, I mean, we chuck ours in with a big case and like have knocking about with Novas and other batteries in there. So we have a lot of stuff in our case. If you're just having this and like maybe a V3 already in the actual holders and that, they're not gonna knock, the paint probably isn't gonna scratch off. This is probably a little bit of us just throwing it about, running around in our big case and yeah. I mean, it's, it is broke, but um, I'm not too sad about it. I mean, it, it's still a cheap mod and like, when you see what I'm buying in a few days, and we will be doing a review on that, you'll see why I'm not too bothered about this breaking because it's kind of forcing me to buy another battery, which um, let's just say it's godly. It is a godly battery I'm buying, and I will be man juicing all over it. Is it uh, I'd imagine it's probably not going to be quite so godly after that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it is, it's a good little device. I do like these. I still do like these. I mean, like, I mean, my other one, it's working perfect. I've had, we've had, we bought one exactly the same time. This one is still going strong. No problems. I mean, this one has got very—it's got no paint knocked off of it. 
but this is my one which I do keep to the side of one other side so I did buy that one off of him so it, it was a little bit scratched up before that it I bought it. Mis, it wasn't mistreated though, I do want to point it out. All my stuff is kept in a massive... Uh, oh no, it, um, it was fine. Place. I mean, it was me dropping it a few times. Mine was just purely like, I've, I've sat on the table, I've knocked it off a few times just where... As you've seen, last time video, we yeah, threw yeah, stuff yeah. on the floor. I didn't throw it on the floor, I knocked it. It wasn't my fault, it was him. But yeah, I do still like these. I mean, if you get something like a 650 mile pass through, these are massive. It's like the size difference between the Vamo and this, okay? But compared to the Vamo, this is a nice little device. Yes, it's going to drop off more when it gets to the battery running low. And no, you can't adjust it as much. You haven't got an ohmmeter, all this kind of stuff. But the Vamo all in is going to cost you 70, 80 quid or 110, 120, 30 dollars. Depending on how many batteries you want and, and charger and so on and so forth. Blah, this blah, blah, blah. is going to cost you 20, 30 dollars um, with a charger. And, and 20 quid or 30 quid yeah yeah 30 quid or like 45, 45 dollars with a charger so I think I don't think it'd be 45 dollars to be honest because you guys in America I have get noticed it's a lot cheaper these also come in a like a dark blue I think you get me in chrome black chrome looks nice black and pink, I think there is a, yeah, there's a pink yeah purple there's a baby pink and a purple there's a it's almost like a sky baby blue it's a bit yeah, darker than a baby blue it's nice I do like it it is a really nice blue it's like it's kind of like how you would uh, I don't know if anyone you've got, got a VV uh, no Vision Clear uh, CE5 uh, V3 um, the blue on that when you see the tank it's like quite see through it's kind of similar to that so if you had a, a, a V3 on one of those it would look pretty smart um, obviously if you need a plinth on it or whatever but it's kind of standard and it's really it's just it is an all-rounded little battery i only get onto a couple of little rating bits on it and then we've got um a couple of little bits want to chuck in at the end um one of oh, one of them yeah, yeah let's do this first um i'd say looks i like i like the look of it if you get a plinth to match it with a nova three quid from vaporscape um i'll definitely say it's a, a sort of an eight or nine out of ten for the look especially since it is large it's got the all-day vape capabilities and for some of you it'll be two or three days um it's still nice and portable. You don't need a huge case or rack sack or satchel or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'd say looks is an eight. I mean, it, it is a little bit heavier than your standard pass through or anything like that. But when you compare it to like, so when you get into these sort of mods, it weighs nothing compared to those. So I mean, as long as like you don't mind a little bit of weight in your hand. I mean, it's not a lot of weight. I'm just talking like minimal weight. It's a nice I battery. I think the weight it is about works. 55 grams, to be precise. It's got it's on Liberty Flights. They've got dimension specs, and they've also got weight specs on there as well on Liberty Flights to cut UK. But I would agree with it. It's, it's a nine for looks. It is really nice. It's a very, it's a very good battery. The paint on Ego Twist is better, but this is cheaper, and it's more capacity. So, yeah, I'd definitely say it's nice. Um, in terms of battery Obviously, life, we don't know about the paint on the blue or the... Pink, if I imagine they're all going to be the same. Yeah, going to be similar. It's going to be rubberized paint, so I'd imagine the, the quality of the paint is going to be similar. Just if you're not, if you've got it rubbing up against metal, though, you're going to expect your paint come off anyway. Uh, I think that's more a reflection on how good the twist is as opposed to how bad this is. To yes. be honest with you, um, but I'd imagine all the paint's going to be sort of similar. They're all going to be rubberized. Just don't have it rubbing and scraping up against metal. It's simple as that. Um, if you want it to stay on anyway, but still, that's not bad. The amount of paint that's on there, it's not too bad. Um, Performance-wise, in terms of how sort of accurate the voltage is we've not put an, uh, a, a multimeter on this to measure how well these volts are just for natural vaping experience we, i mean we did briefly very quickly was playing around with ohms for an atomizer but it was it was incredibly close anyway when we did that i'd imagine when you get to the low end of the battery there's going to be a drop off you do need to tap just um, slightly above what you think you need it at you can okay. notice you can notice if you're using this for a while and you're sort of standard on a, a, a 2.48 and you've been vaping sort of or if you're just a, volts. a pro vapor or you've been vaping a while and you know kind of what you, you should be vaping at and how it should taste and all that you'll know just to knock it up just like half a turn not even that it's not even half a turn it's just like it's literally a, smidge. a it's smidge it's about 0.1.2 of a volt just as you get to the lower end of the battery because it does have a little drop off um but overall performance, this thing's great. It lasted me all day, uh, and if something lasts me all day, it, it can't be doing bad. Um, it lasts me probably about a day, day and a half, depending on how what kind of day I'm having. If I'm having a bit of a stressful day, it's a day. If I'm just having a normal day, it's a day and a half. Up to two sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it has lasted me two when I first got it, but... Charge time on these is four hours, um, so well, they charge fairly quickly. Sometimes it was quicker, sometimes it was longer. It depends on what USB device you have it plugged into. Yeah. If you've got a one amp USB port, like um, a PC standard, or a laptop, then it's probably going to take about five or six. If you've got a two amp, which a lot of new laptops, new PCs have got, then it's going to be quicker. Um, or Xbox, Xbox or PlayStation it's on the Xbox as well. Three amp. 
Um, the light it's weird when we charge this the light comes on it's like a torch so you plug <laughs> it in and this light comes you on you can read a book by and it, it is incredibly bright when it's dark in the room so if you're going to sleep at night and you're having that next to your bed I'd advise trying to put it so the light's facing down or stuck it in a drawer or something because it can be distracting it is very bright which is weird because you'd imagine as soon as it's charging they'd want you or you they'd want they want you to uh, have the light off to charge it quicker now I have a theory on this I think the twist has two individual power ports, power cables, one from the battery to the, the firing pin and one from the battery to the light and then one connecting the two. I think this is just a straight through and through, battery to light and then light to pin. And that would explain why the light comes on when it's charging and I have only just figured this out in my head. I'm probably wrong, but that's my view on it and I won't be told I'm wrong by anyone. So, yeah. Because he thinks he's the one. We've been I watching The Matrix the and he one. thinks he's the one. I am Neo. But I keep telling him he's just the one ninja. But um, yeah, overall overall performance. Or you can't really give performance on this. I did notice. I'm still using it now until strong. I get my new battery, which I should be hopefully ordering tomorrow. So a couple of days. Thursday I'll have it. Thursday morning. So I will be doing a video for obviously Thursday afternoon, and it will be like a four hour long homage to this battery. Homage. <laughs> <laughs> you probably guess what this battery may be. If you haven't, then it's not going to be too hard for you to do we, so. It but begins with P and ends in. I Z Max. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Z Max. Oh God! <laughs> but um, the overall, this battery, even if someone who uses variable voltage and wattage device, um, I'd say this battery's still a nine out of ten. It's a nice, well-priced, good all-rounding little piece of kit. It goes wicked with a Nova STV in black. A nice you've got plinth, plinth, plinth. Uh, you got then you've got a bit of steel, a bit of a black tip, blick tip, blick tip, a black <laughs> drip tip, a bit of um, a bit of steel, some rubberized, then you've got a bit of a uh, steel in between here, then rubberized and a bit of steel at the bottom. It does blend very nicely. Um, so yeah, that charger, STV, 40 quid, Vaporscape, the code UK, chuck yourself on a bottle of juice and delivery, 50, 55 quid, um, you're and, and you're good to go, and honestly, I would, I can't advise a better way to start, um, and if you do start like that, there's no need for you to buy all this other expensive stuff, it's just, we choose to, um, so that's definitely a good way to go. What you saying? Um, I would agree it is a nine, just for, I mean, if it was more expensive, it would obviously drop dramatically. Because obviously it does drop off, and there are like certain disadvantages. But for twenty-five quid, you can't go wrong, really. I mean, for a variable voltage battery that is going to last you all day, no matter what voltage you're knocking it up at, it will last you the day. You can't go wrong. It's it's a nine. It's just it works well. It except for the one that broke, obviously. But that was down to me rather than the battery. I think more than anything. But I am going to have a crack in because uh, we had a look on one site, and apparently. You can pull that top pin out with a couple of needle nose pliers. So I'm going to try and rip that out and uh, see it. if I can resolder the wire on. It's and if it works, then you'll get another review and it'll be like, it works again, it is magic, and then I'll be giving it to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Palmer off with a broken one. It's not broken, it'll be fully repaired. But um, yeah, a couple of things I do want to point out. We watched a video after this happened, um, and one of the guys on the video said um, he thinks that maybe uh, it's not Joytech, whoever makes a spin, our vision or whatever it vision. is. Their quality control checks, he bought two, and they were completely different ends of the scale. One was brilliant and one was really poor. Um, now, I'd imagine that being a cheaper product and coming from China, as everything made in China is, it's not always exactly the same. Um, I don't want to point out the Duotex egos are made in China. They're probably they're, they're more they're more money, so they're going to have for more far quality controls. Yeah. Um, any problems with your stuff if you order it from Vaporscape, you've got a decent amount of time to get onto and return it. Return it. They will look at it, and if it's rubbish, they will send you another one straight away that day. <coughs> um, if if it turns out to be something that you've done, um, they will then send you back the item, so you're not going to lose out. So Vaporscape is <coughs> really good for that. Um, so we've said at the beginning of the video there's a few things coming up this week we've, we, we've just bought some stuff placing orders placed orders a couple of days ago placing more orders tomorrow we have a, quite a few nice little bits and bobs um, to review including, including uh, something that's brand new to the market that's literally I haven't even seen a video well, on YouTube well two things really because they're two they are the same kind of product but they're both new to the market and they're different looking different styles so hopefully yeah. we'll have them both on Thursday for you for a dual review and we're also going to do this with it as well not the battery the top we're going to do the Arga I do want to point out ha 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 he got it working finally last night I played around with this and look at that honestly have you ever seen a better coil in your life no you haven't because it's a bit out of focus <laughs> <laughs> just assume that that is the best coil you have ever seen because trust me I, I literally the moment it took me last night within a two minute period it was loaded coiled wrapped 
tightened, filled and vaping, and honestly, it's going like a steam train. So, um, I'm loving the Argo today. Uh, tomorrow, when I try and rewrap it, if I have to rewrap it tomorrow, it's probably going to be a different story. <laughs> it's going to hate it, it's going to be. But, but I am loving this Argo today. We're probably going to do a video on this coming up very shortly. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that kind of stuff. There is something else I wanted to point out as well. If you go on to totally wicked eliquid.co.uk, along the left hand side, there's a lot of subcategories, and one of them is, or the very bottom one, I can't remember exactly what it says, to be honest with you. I am piss poor, this is off the top of my head. But it's about the new um, proposed EU directive um, for basically EU want to class anything over four milligram strength um, liquids as medicines. It's obviously going to drive the cost of everything that, that as a vaping community, people use generally, um, as well as it's going to basically reduce what we can do. Um, and it's all going to have to be classified as medicines. It's going to cost you a lot more, um, and that's if you can get it prescribed to you. Which let's face it, most of us won't. I don't. I doubt there's very few people out there that are vaping something as weak as four milligrams, unless it's completely nicotine free, in which case it's probably not going to bother you. But it will affect the vendors dramatically because I'm guessing. I mean, judging by how much it costs to make your own liquid, most of their profits is coming from things like liquid and stuff. Um, so if they a little tip, if you do mix, buy your shit now. Well, maybe, maybe, but there maybe are not your uh, vegetable glycerin. And, uh, well, that's going to be readily available. But yeah, nicotine solution. But your nicotine solution. If you can get a light a litre or two, get it. Um, I don't think personally it's going to go ahead, and there's a couple of reasons why. One is that the vaping community have been very, very vocal about what they do not want to happen, and this is one of the things they do not want to happen is for the control of it to be over to the I can't remember the, the health board or whatever it is. Um, but it's amazing because they don't want cigarettes in their control. Hmm, maybe they can't make as much money off of cigarettes, I don't know. But go on to totallywicked-eliquid.co.uk, left hand side, load of subcategories, the bottom one, click on it, it's got all the information there you're going to need. Then click on what else you can do. There is a blog on there that will direct you on how to do what you need to do. And basically what they're recommending you should do is to write to your local MP and voice your outrage or disgust or your disapprovement to this um, directive and then it will be brought up obviously in the relevant places. Basically if you're British do what we do best and moan. Yeah pretty much I mean if it, it's just one of those I know it sounds like a stupid thing and everyone's probably set to going well enough people are probably going to do it so I don't need to. Well I'm guessing there's a lot of people that have got that attitude so get off your ass and do it. It's going to take two seconds. If you enjoy doing this then do it. It's not long. There's blogs on there. They will tell you what to write, how to write it, who to write it to. There's even links to so you can basically send it straight to your local MP and that's everyone in this country. So for 20 minutes just do it honestly if you like what you do if you enjoy doing this then it takes two seconds i know it's maybe a bit above and beyond your call of duty as, as a customer but if this was booze they were trying to ban or fags as a smoker you'd be saying something um and a lot of us do enjoy this and we don't want it taken away from us so maybe something to think about um hopefully you do right great i've been the worm this has been mr pearl hey. Where's my I do exit. I have been Mr. Proton. <laughs> this has been the Minge. I use the Minge. <laughs> we'll see you, yeah, guys. guys. We'll see you. Um, big up, head dog. Yeah, head dog. <laughs> and we'll see you Thursday. Maybe in a minute. We'll probably do some more videos in a minute. Who knows? Stop wearing We, we never know. Let's move on to the next one. See you in a bit. <laughs>